Okay, so I wanted to show the progress I was having with setting up my OData server. So I started setting up my own OData server using the um, JData server that you can set up with this OData server from JData, sorry. And this is a good tutorial. It's a little bit old, but it helps set up the server running on node.js. And I also wanted to test this before I test out the server. So I found a public data source that had an OData interface on the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. And I think you have to create an account, but there are some good examples. It explains to you how to set it up with Tableau software, but this is not a really good example. The best example is when you click on the overview and you get these links. Because OData is a RESTful service, you can use these links and make requests and get back XML and in the browser and check and make sure it's working. So we're asking for downloads and it lists the downloads for us with this link. So if you change that to something else that's there in the API, uh, let's say events, then we can make a request to the web service, this OData web service for events, and it'll give us back a list of events. So to use this in Tableau, we go to the Tableau page, we copy this link, which is the endpoint that has their, uh, th that's going to make a request for the events, and it'll send it back in XML format. So we click on OData to connect to a server. We're going to paste in this server URL. And we're not going to use authentication, it doesn't require it, but you can use a key from Windows Azure Marketplace. And uh, username and password can be configured for OData. But we're not doing that, we're just using no authentication, it doesn't require it. So with events here, it's going to pull in the headers for the events. And then when we click on the sheet, it'll show us the sheets. It says connected to OData, and this is the endpoint. So it's pulling in all that data. Some of the other endpoints have a lot more data um, on the site. Any of these items? will return all those events inside of the database through the API. So it's a really good API. You can use it to pull in all kinds of things. And my aim is to uh, build my own. So what I'm doing right now is um, creating a chart in Tableau using that data that I just pulled in from the OData um, server from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. So if I put name up there, and if I put, I guess, anything maybe uh, start dates probably not the best thing to use we could actually just put in uh, type and then we'll add in views this probably isn't the best thing to use uh, location maybe a little bit better we can see charts are created from the OData server and we're pulling in all those records so these are the records down here we're pulling in. It's very quick and it's a way to hopefully host data and be able to use Tableau Public or be able to customize it on site and add username and password or create a public API for people to use with your data if they don't necessarily have all the full features of Tableau Desktop. So I'm stuck on the JavaScript portion right now, but I wanted to share what I had so far and see if I can get some uh, help from everyone else in the community. Thanks and uh, thanks for watching the video.